Hey guys, it's Nikki Momo here, and today we're going to do a new makeup palette review from Hot Topic. A few days ago, I went on Hot Topic's website and they released a new palette that I am so excited about because I was actually thinking about this type of palette for quite some time. And the palette that we're reviewing today is Mermaid's Tail by Blackheart. Mermaids have always been my favorite creature ever since I was a little girl, since The Little Mermaid was my favorite movie and is also my favorite Disney princess. I had to go to Hot Topic and pick this up. I could not pass this down. Uh, a palette that's solely based on mermaid colors and whatnot. Ugh. Like, it had to be done. And of course, I am wearing two colors from this palette, so let's get started. Can we just point out how gorgeous the cover of this palette is like it's amazing I love how sparkly it is all around here um, the mermaid itself is holographic and the font is gold it's so cute I love and the teal color inside of it Ugh, so pretty and of course when you open it it's got the crazy mirror inside with the nice detail of the mermaid scale all around the mirror and the mirrors for once is not a rectangular shape it's got a nice border with the nice beautiful 12 colors around and comes with the brush which I won't be using so let's go ahead and remove the plastic cover on top usually no one keeps it and bye byes And let's hold this brush. And there they are, right there. So I'm going to try doing something a little different here. I'm actually going to try swatching inside my arm this time instead of the outside where the hair is. I'm going to be swatching from my right arm and I'm going to be pulling out and doing this. So that's how I'm going to be doing it today. But I'm going to start from left to right. So, let's get started. So, for the uh, first color we're going to be doing, for the next two actually, but I hope you guys can see it. The first one is called Peach Pit. It's literally a nude color. I don't know if you can see it. But it's right there. The next one is called the Breeze. It's like a nice porcelain, cream porcelain I guess. It's very light, but it's it's pigmented, but it's right beside there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. Okay, so the next one, this is called Coral Reef. I'm not an orange person, but this looks nice. So that's Coral Reef right there. The next one... It's called Ocean Floor. It's a nice pastel purple and blue mix. Uh-oh. Uh, this is really shimmery, but it's not coming on my brush. Uh-oh. Oh no, palette's starting to disappoint me. So, Ocean Floor, it's not really great. It's not pigmented at all, but it's this one right here. Already there's one color that I'm disappointed with, but good news is I don't actually like that color, so hooray. Okay, our next one is called Coconut. Wow. Oh my lord. Wow. That is really pigmented and very shimmery. I was not expecting that from this palette. That's a really nice... I was going to say copper or bronze, but it's really, really nice. I, wow, I was not expecting that. The next one I am going to be using is called Beach Bum. It's literally like a shimmery blue. I was having trouble getting this on my eye today. It's, I'm not going to lie, but it's hard. But there it is, really pigmented, that nice blue there. It took several tries to get the blue on my eye. 
The next one I am swatching is White Sands, which is not very pigmented. And that is it right there. If you can see it. So far the colors that are not pigmented are the ones I don't even like using, but I'm still blown away by that coconut. Yes. The next one we're using is called Poolside. Oh, it's a really nice shimmer. And there is Poolside. It's the nice blue right there. I was actually hoping that didn't disappoint me because that's a really nice blue. The next one I am swatching is Seaweed. And that is what I'm using in my outer eye today. That one is my favorite one. This is my favorite color in this palette. Oh, look at that nice shimmer. And so that is it. Yeah, I love that green. It's a nice green forehand full of colors. The next one I'm doing is called Shades. It's like a purple. It's like a. Mm, it's a purple. I don't know. What how else to say it? Ooh. It's kind of okay, but two tries and it works. And that is it. That is the nice shade purple. Not really pigmented, but if you do it a second stroke, you get your color. The next one is called Flip Flops. It's a shimmery purple, though I'm not picking it up. Um, I might try to wet my brush and see if that will work instead. Okay, so wetting the brush did not work, so I'm going to try using my finger, because maybe that would be better. No. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. It's very pastel. I'm so glad I'm not excited about that color, because that's why. Actually, I don't know. I just wasn't excited for that kind of purple at all. So the last one we're going to be doing is Hibiscus, and which is one of my favorite drinks from Starbucks, though I haven't had it recently. But it's very pink, and I cannot say no to pink. Yay! So happy, because if this pink was a disappointment, I might have been a little upset. Okay, so there's the pink right there. I really enjoy that pink. All in all for this $12 palette in Canadian and possibly eight something in American. It's decent. I, I'm kind of a little disappointed because I was hoping all the colors would be bright and vibrant. Um, there's a lot of light shades and not very pigmented. Um, the only one that isn't really pigmented is um, Flip flops, which is this one right here, and white sands. Although it's really white, but I still couldn't get a lot of it. And ocean floor, not pigmented whatsoever. I'd say the best color in this entire palette had to be the coconut. It was the one that picked up a lot of pigment, and it's very shimmery, and I am blown away with it. Um, everything else is it's fine, it's okay. Uh, the green seaweed one is my favorite. I mean, with this one, seems to be the best one in my books, as well as the Interstellar. These two have been my favorite Blackheart palettes so far. Um, this I will still keep because of the other colors that I've demonstrated, um, but Again, I'm really disappointed in it. Uh, the only palette that I know that I haven't bought from Blackheart, and it's a major disappointment, was the, I think it's the Pastel Dreams one with the unicorns. Um, from a lot of reviews on YouTube, I've seen that it's not pigmented. It's super, super uh, light, so it doesn't show on skin very well. Sometimes I've seen it's hard to blend, but the colors I'm using today were very easy to blend, but like I said before, I had a hard time doing the blue, which is called Beach Bum. 
If you guys like this uh, makeup palette review by Blackheart, please give this video a nice like. And if you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more unboxing, makeup palette reviews, and cosplay shenanigans that I post every week on Mondays and Thursdays. I hope this makeup palette review was useful for you, so that will help you to decide if you wanted to buy this palette or not. And write down in the comments below which color were you blown away with and which color were you so disappointed with. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.